Since the spill, researchers from the Institute for Marine Mammal Studies, an independent research facility, have seen more distressed marine animals in the waters off Mississippi. Right here. Their biggest concern now, the dolphins. What are you worried about the spill will do to the dolphins? Well, ultimately, uh, we're, we're worried that it, they're going to die from it. More than 250 sea turtles and dolphins have been found dead in the area and are bagged in makeshift morgues, now part of a federal investigation into what killed them. I didn't know where to pick a spot out, man. It's everywhere. Some scientists worry that using dispersant to break up the oil may be a factor. It spreads the oil over a much larger area, making it hard for creatures to avoid it. Also, studies show that when the dispersant breaks up the oil, it can free the most toxic components, certain hydrocarbons, which spread throughout the water, exposing marine animals to more toxic components than if the oil hadn't been dispersed. A review of more than 400 studies since 1997 showed that 75 percent found the combination of oil and dispersant actually increased the toxic effects of the oil. Dr. Joe Griffith is a toxicologist at the University of Southern Mississippi. Well, I think we all agree that the dispersed oil is more likely to be toxic than, uh, than the, the crude oil by itself. Last week, a group of independent scientists demanded an immediate halt to using dispersants in the Gulf, warning in this statement that they pose grave risks to marine life and human health. Spray on. Spray on. Since the spill, the government has approved the use of an unprecedented 1.8 million gallons of dispersant, sprayed on the surface and into the well below, mostly corrects at 9,500. Little is known about the effect of these chemicals applied in such great amounts or at this depth, 5,000 feet. So far, the scientific community hasn't reached conclusions about how all this is impacting marine life in the Gulf. But law firms suing BP on behalf of Louisiana fishermen and environmentalists have conducted tests, preparing to do battle in court. Tests, they say, produce troubling results. Dr. William Sawyer, a toxicologist, is part of a team of scientists hired by the law firms who collected and analyzed globs of oil, sand, and water at these sites in four states along the Gulf. We now have compelling evidence that the dispersant has enhanced and increased the toxicity from the spill. Sawyer says tests show that some water now contains high levels of toxic components, which can be especially harmful to early stages of marine life. It is selectively picking out the most toxic hydrocarbons in crude oil and maintaining those in the water on a long-term base, long basis. Which makes this even more deadly to marine life? Much so. Other scientists told NBC that Sawyer's theory appears valid, but can't be proven conclusively without testing the mixture of oil and dispersant on marine life. BP says dispersants have been very effective in keeping oil from reaching shore, and that it's working closely with the government to monitor the environmental impact. NALCO, which makes Corexit, says the EPA has concluded that use of dispersants has not significantly affected the marine environment. Because of potential litigation, the EPA hasn't seen all of Sawyer's data, but the agency says it's now conducting its own tests to determine just how toxic dispersants mixed with oil are to life in the Gulf. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Grand Isle, Louisiana.